decipher. Enter a library in any country, in any town, and approach a librarian. Present to them any of the books that describe the objects, and ask if they know the meaning of its contents. If they recoil in horror, then you have found one who knows of the holder of the cipher. The holder of the cipher hides in the emptiest part of the library, behind stacks and stacks of unread books. Wander around, browsing, all the while searching for the dark, secluded corner you desire. The light will remain constant throughout until you encounter a child with a heavy yellow book with a yellow cover. From this point on you follow the designed path and cannot stray or turn back until you have finished what you started. The child will pronounce himself as the keeper of the cipher. Ignore him and continue. Not long after, an identical child with a book bound in blue will approach you and declare himself the guardian of the cipher. Ignore him and move on. At this point, the lights will dim and a third child, identical to the others save for the crimson book in his arms, shall state that he is the patron of the cipher. Stand still and the other two will join you. The three children will form a triangle around you. The lights will flare brightly, but will not blind you. You must not acknowledge the children, but neither may you take your eyes off of the patron. When the light subsides, the keeper will be an old man, the patron will be a young man, and the guardian will be a young woman. In the arms of the young woman is the child that once held the three books. The books themselves have come together into one white book. The voice of the child will enter your mind, seeking a question. The question can only be found in one of the volumes about the objects. If satisfied, then it shall walk over to you, grasp your hand, and lead you out of its realm. If not, then the keeper, guardian, and patron will also enter your mind and tear it apart from the inside as the world around you turns dark. Once this happens, you will join those protecting the child. If the child leads you out, you shall soon find yourself outside the library you used to enter. Glowing a pure white, the child will fade, and the light will become a pair of glasses. Wear them, and see the truth of whatever is before your eyes. The glasses are Object 454 or 538. To wear them is to seal your fate.